Hi folks, I'm Jordan, and I maintain NVM, which is a widely used Node version manager. There's lots of reasons a version manager for Node is useful. If you're authoring packages, it's important to be able to locally test in different Node versions. And if you're running an app and preparing to upgrade from, say, Node 10 to Node 12, it's really helpful to be able to quickly switch between them so you can ensure that the upgrade will be as low risk as possible. For most users, installing NVM is a one-line command found in the project's readme. If you have any trouble, please file an issue and fill out the full template and I'll do my best to help. After installing NVM, the first thing you'll want to do is install a node version, so we have to decide which one. I'd recommend starting with the latest version, so for that you'd type nvm install node. This will download and install a binary, or compile from the source if needed, and then we'll use it, which you can verify with nvm current. nvm will also cache the downloaded archive, so you don't have to download it more than once. The first time that you install a node version, NVM will set it as the default alias, which means that it will be auto-used when the shell starts. You can check this with NVM alias, or NVM ls, which includes the alias listing. You'll see the default pointing to version 14.4.0, and n a are not applicable for most of the others. All the yellow ones represent LTS release lines, which stands for long-term support. You can use LTS slash star, LTS slash erbium, etc. as a shortcut to install that LTS version. So now let's install some more node versions. I'm going to type nvm install LTS slash argon, uh, which installs version 4.9.1, the last supported version in the argon release line, which is now end of life. And with nvm ls, we can verify this. And as you can see, version 4.9.1 is installed. The arrow means that's the current version and the LTS argon alias points to it down at the bottom. So you can get the latest LTS version with nvm install dash dash LTS, which at this time is version 12.18.0. And with nvm ls, we can see that that's installed. The arrow means it's current because it's been used. It's LTS slash erbium, and LTS slash star also points to the latest one, which at the moment, the latest installed one, which at the moment is that. Now that we have three versions installed, we can switch between them with nvm use. So in this case, I typed 14. You could type 14.4 or 14.4.0. Uh, you can also use LTS slash you know, argon or any of the other aliases. The custom aliases are supported as well. And nvm use dash dash LTS is a shortcut for LTS slash star, which is the same thing. And these all use your locally installed versions, not the remote ones. Only when installing does it check what's available. And for any commands, you can check nvm-help to see what's available with hopefully a helpful explanation. And if you have any questions, please feel free to file an issue and ask. Last October, NVM became the first project to join the newly merged OpenJS Foundation. The primary goals for being part of the foundation are to ensure that the project survives long term and can grow beyond its current state, which is having a single maintainer. Here's a few things that I'm focusing on for NVM, uh, NVM over the next year. The main one is speed improvements. NVM invokes NPM when you're using a version, and this is quite slow for some users. This needs to be fixed, but without bringing back the bugs that invoking NPM prevents. Uh, the next thing is official support for release candidates and nightly builds of Node. This is already possible with a few hacks, but I want it to be properly supported. Uh, the, uh, the next one is the ability for NVM to automatically update itself, so you don't have to keep looking up the install script to grab the new version number. And then the, main, the last big one is testing. Uh, the current tests that NVM uses to validate itself are cumbersome to write and, more importantly, to read, and we need a better solution. So you might be asking yourself, how can I help? Uh, the big one, of course, is contributing. Uh, find it, you can find an issue with the pull request wanted label and go nuts. Um, but remember, the most important kind of contributions are not code. They're making documentation more intuitive and approachable. They're reproducing reported issues and distilling reports into failing test cases, things like that. Uh, and if you don't have the time to contribute, that's fine. Um, there's also sponsorship available via GitHub. Uh, that helps as well. Thanks, everybody. And... Uh, Look forward to hearing about all the great ways you're all using NVM.